What's up, YouTube? <clears throat> Gypso back with another video. And long time no see. Um, <clears throat> it's been a crazy couple weeks for me. Um, I just got my car back two days ago. It was in the shop. My battery actually blew up inside of my car, like just exploded in the engine. There was battery brains everywhere. Um, I took it to two different mechanics. I got rammed by two different mechanics. It's just been very stressful. I've spent almost a thousand dollars getting my car back running. Um, I had to get a new alternator and a new battery. And I'm finally back on the road, but it's been very stressful and annoying. And uh, I'm back in Houston, luckily. My car blew up um, the day after I got back to Houston. I mean, not my car blew up, but my battery blew up the day after I got back to Houston. So luckily I was in Houston because I was able to stay with family and everything. So it's like, you know, it's, it's just really, the whole thing has just been me getting back in the car getting my car back that has that's been my biggest stressful thing because my car was in the shop for so it was in the, in the shop for a week and a half so it's been it, i was stressed i was stressed out needless to say um but i'm back in my car um back in houston um you know for a moment there i was a little apprehensive about getting back in my car you know that 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 comfort that you get from staying in a house and um, being around family is a different comfort level than it than it is just being in, out in a car. But then I thought about it, I'm like, no, you know, I really I really miss the road. You know, being free, being on my own. So the journey is not done for me. I'm definitely gonna be moving soon. Um, this this nine hundred dollars that I spent, almost a thousand dollars that I spent set me back but i think i'm gonna be making a move very soon i feel like everything happens for a reason sometimes we don't really know why things happen that way the way they happen but i think everything happens for a reason and the fact that um now be me being off for a week i really needed a break like i really did need to take a week off to just relax because i'm i've just been going going and going and going and going and it's really, um, I was getting tired of that shit. Like, at one point, I was just, like, super stressed out. Super, like, just tired and done with the whole situation. So, it's, like, it's good that I finally did take a break. And I feel like sometimes things happen where you have to take a break. And I think this is just one of those things. Because on this break, I've been able to hang out with family that I haven't seen. I really missed my little brothers and sisters and... You know, it was just good seeing my family again. So, you know, things happen for a reason. You don't understand it. You don't understand in the moment why things happen the way they do. But, like, when you look back, you're like, maybe I needed a break. Because I just, I just really been going and going and working and working and working. Um, But, yeah, I am still in this journey. Um, I just want to say, luckily, I didn't get caught in the rain. Because, you know, Houston recently just got hit with a bunch of water. So... Luckily, I wasn't out there working for that. That's another thing that's that's crazy how things happen because the car blew up the day um, before. Not blew up. Why can you say my car blew up? The battery blew up the day before the, the storm hit. So I don't know how I would have been able to move around in that water or if I would have got stuck in that water. See, it's just, you just never know how things happen. And maybe that was just the way the universe protected me. It cost me some money, but, you know, I was able to keep my car. Um... But yeah, that's it, guys. I don't want to ramble on this, in this video too long, but um, stay tuned for more videos. I'm definitely going to be posting more videos. Probably post another video after I post this one. So just be on the lookout. Um, and I just want to update you guys on that situation. People, I never want to deal with another mechanic ever again. Mechanics have scarred me for life. Like, I'm, I'm really done with mechanics. Like, if I meet a person and I find out they're a mechanic, I just don't even want to be a friend. Like, seriously. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. But no, like, these mechanics, man, you just have to have a lot of trust in mechanics. You really do. You have to trust them a lot. Because they can tell you anything is wrong with your car, and it, it really not even be that. Like, it could be something completely different, but they're trying to charge you X amount of dollars to fix a whole... they telling you you got to replace your whole engine when really your fuse just went out. You know what I'm saying? It's little things like that. You really got to have a lot of trust in these people because 
it's a very vulnerable position to be in when you don't know anything about cars and then you have to take your car to a professional and they're just supposed to tell you what's wrong with your car that's a lot of trust you're putting in and you're 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 in a you're at mercy to the mechanic because you literally don't know what the fuck is going on with your car you don't know anything about the car so you really just got to go off what they tell you um so yeah that's another thing i learned to just be careful with these mechanics and really do research on your own car before you take it to a mechanic so that they really can't they can still get over on you but at least you can come there and kind of act like you know a little bit of something so they may like okay then he knows a little something she know a little something we may not be able to pull that shit on this person you know what i mean but that's it for my ramble guys um Stay tuned. I'll see you guys in the next video. Shout out to the new subscribers.